Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we teach you how to carve wood signs. Today we're going to do a quick demo with our chef's hat template. This is the new one for November of 2022 and we're going to use our inch and a half bookman font. Let's get to it. So the first thing we had to do is the layout. So we're doing an arch on this, which can be kind of a pain. They're a little bit difficult to figure out, but with the pre-made arch dad did, um, it really makes it easy. You want to measure from the top down on each side, so you make sure that your arch is square from the top down. You don't want it tilted one way or the other, because that's going to show up real bad. And then when you put your lettering on the arches, you just want to make sure that it's even all the way across the wording. You want to make sure you have even spaces between the lettering and also even spaces between the words. And then once you got it all set up and where you want it, then you just got to spray it. So guys, I messed up recording, and for some reason, I did not get the carving liner on this video. But we used the carving liner for the real fine detail in the spoon and the spatula to get those nice sharp fine lines. And then we went around everything else with the profile bit, and the depth is right at about 3 16 to an eighth. And then once we had our full profile done, then we went deeper with the profile to give it a nice bold line. And then we just had a little bit of cleanup to do with the 90, a little bit deeper, about a quarter of an inch to take all that black out. And then we use the 60 for our font. The Bookman font has some sharp lines, but this was inch and a half, so I was able to go real deep and get most of it in one pass. Some of it I went back in two. We went at about a quarter of an inch for the font because I wanted it really nice and deep. We like the Bookman font because it's kind of different. It's not quite like Clarendon, and it's got a bold look to it. You don't want to go much deeper than a quarter of an inch, because then you're going to run out of the actual flute of the router bit and you're going to end up burning the wood instead of carving it really. It's going to burn real bad.
And then to give it just a nice edge, we just left this thing square. We haven't done that in a while, and it's just something a little different. We went around the back at about an eighth of an inch to give it a little chamfer on the back. And then on the front, I went a lot deeper with our 45 degree bit to give it a nice bold uh, chamfer and a nice bold look on the edges. Then we sprayed it black. Got all the edges and all the font um, and the artwork nice and dark, but you do not want to overspray. If you overspray and you get puddling, then pretty much anything will bleed. Just because it's not soft wood doesn't mean it won't bleed if you put too much uh, primer on there. Then we started off with our disc sander and a 60 degree bit because remember this is sassafras so we want to get um, we want to have kind of an aggressive grit to get 90 to 95 percent of the black off. Then we used our random orbital and we used a 120 grit disc to uh, get the rest of the black off and to give it a nice smooth finish for when we put our clear coat on. Then we put about three coats of just our Rust-Oleum clear spray on there. This is going indoors so it doesn't have to be outdoors and to give it a nice glossy finish. All right, guys, so I'm super happy. Ryan and I are both super happy the way this came out, but we want to add one more element to this. We want to actually have this to be a functional kitchen, um, Decor. decor yeah yeah but it'll be functional as well so all we're going to do is put some cup hooks in there so here's what we've done um we, it's about 24 inches long we kind of figured maybe uh at the three inch mark and the eight inch mark might look uh might look be kind of good for cup hooks to give it plenty of room whatever uh, vicky's gonna hang in there so um I've made some really light marks here. I'm going to come up about uh, about three quarters of an inch. Just make some little marks, and again, we can always erase those. So I'm just uh, using a, a little drill. These are our cup hooks. I'm going to use um, a small drill and just kind of start a hole. Just go down a little bit. By the way, this wood, uh, in case we haven't said it yet, this wood we think is sassafras. Somebody sent me a bunch of, uh, well, several boards of this sassafras um, in the past, and this is one we've had hanging around for a while. And um, I like the way it carves. It, it looks almost uh, like oak, but it's not. Um, but it carved really well. It's, it's hard. But it's not near as hard as oak is, and uh, and again, uh, happy with the way it looked, happy with the way the the grain looks. So I don't know if you guys have access to sassafras, but um, I'm kind of a fan. I really, it has such a different look to it. It has an oak type of open grain, but it, then it has some other colors and stuff going on there too. I really like it. So. Uh, Anyway, we'll get these cup hooks installed, and then uh, we'll wrap this thing up.
Hey guys, all right, that's it. So links to everything that we used uh, are in the description below. If you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, Eric at makeawoodsign.com or Ryan at makeawoodsign.com. We so appreciate you watching. If you haven't sub uh, subscribed yet, we'd love for you to subscribe. Leave us a comment, let you know what you think of this. And if you have ideas of other things that we can do, uh, we love making content for you guys. So thanks again, guys. We love you. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.